Oh yeah, give me some of that cookie dough. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys enjoyed the last video. It's definitely a change of pace from the food videos that I've been doing recently, but it was nice to be back home with family, spending some quality time with the parents and the brother. So, got me thinking, you know, I hope that all of my viewers, whether you're new or have been around for a while, I hope that you guys are staying safe and healthy during this crazy time. But on another note, Quick update, I know I promised you guys a five ice cream challenge video and that's gonna be coming up next week. This work has been super hectic and for those of you who don't know, I do work a corporate gig outside of this YouTube stuff. So it's just been a super busy week and I haven't gotten into it yet. So plan is I'm gonna shoot it this weekend and then get it out to you guys next week. So make sure to stay tuned. And the second note is that this video is actually gonna be split up into two My Thai guy. But anyway, the second item is, is that this video is actually gonna be split into two parts. So take a look in the description below if you guys are interested in seeing the different portions. The first recipe that we're gonna dive into is gonna be the vegan cookie dough recipe. And then the second is gonna be the oatmeal recipe that I had promised you guys a couple videos back. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I know like 90% of my viewers are not subscribed to this channel. What's going on with you guys? Make sure to smash that subscribe button, give it a big fat thumbs up, and stay tuned because at the very least, you'll get, I don't know, a laugh, maybe a recipe, or just get to see this awesome face, right? So make sure to subscribe. All right, Cupcake, what do you think? Time to get into the good stuff? Yeah, all right, let's talk about some anabolic recipes. Now, for the first ingredient, we're gonna go ahead and do one scoop of the Nutrisuma fermented pea protein. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and use one serving of a vegan pudding mix. All right, guys, and then next up, we've got four grams of PB2 powder. And then you've also got seven grams of vegan chocolate chips. All right, so now that we have all the dry ingredients mixed up, we're gonna go ahead and throw in a few chocolate chips, make sure, give this a good chocolate kick. So now the last part is we're gonna go ahead and toss in two ounces of the soy milk. And obviously the volume for this is gonna change based off of your consistency that you're looking for. You can go a little bit more, but just know that there's a certain point where once you put in too much liquid, this is just gonna really start to turn into a pudding. pudding. So you can almost see how it's starting to turn instantly into a cookie dough texture. Oh, this is smelling so good. So I used a vanilla pea protein. Obviously, if you use a chocolate, different flavors. There's also birthday cake pea proteins out there. You know, the flavor is just gonna pop even more. All right, guys, so that was a pretty quick recipe. Here's what the finished product looks like. It's definitely got that texture. It's got that feel to it. You can see it's just, it's just a lot spot on in comparison to something that I've come across in terms of whey type chocolate chip cookie doughs. And if you guys have recommendations on a whey version of a cookie dough recipe, shoot them in the comments below. I'll definitely check them out. But as you can see here, the texture is very close to a cookie dough. Obviously, this is gonna be extremely low fat. I'll put the macros up on the screen in just a second, but the texture and consistency is all quite there. There you go. So you can see it's got that consistency. You can probably add a little bit more soy milk in there, give it a little bit more moisture, but this really just does the spot in terms of the texture and the consistency for me. It's very squishy. It almost feels and just really tastes like cookie dough. Um, obviously you're gonna have a little bit of that pea protein kind of seeping in in terms of flavor, but it's just something that I've gotten used to over the years and have actually really enjoyed. So guys, this recipe is perfect for one serving and the macro breakdown is as follows. We've got 158 calories total, which breaks down into 22 grams of protein, 13 grams of carbs, and then two grams of fat. Now, obviously you can toy around with putting more or less PB2, and you can also substitute in natural peanut butter. But if you do natural peanut butter, it's gotta be a slight pinch, and you can probably do maybe a teaspoon of it, and then mix that all in. That'll give you a little bit more fat content in this one serving, but this definitely hits the spot and it worked for me especially when I had been dieting down from this to this. So now guys, here's a question for you. How many of you guys have actually tried making a cookie dough recipe using a whey product and haven't come across something that's been super sticky and super gooey and it has just 
stuck all in your tea. Shoot me in the comments below what your guys' experience has been. This vegan cookie dough has been one of my staple products and just having quick and easy access to a dessert that has high protein, and especially when you want some chocolate, hits the spot pretty good. Mm. Oh yeah. So here's the deal. If you guys want to try this recipe out, throw in the comments below what the ratings are. You guys know the three different categories, anabolic taste, and craving. Give me a shout, let me know what you think. If you guys tweaked it, let me know what you guys did to tweak it. I wanna know what kind of awesomeness you guys come up with. So, try this out, but without further ado, let's get into recipe number two. All right guys, now, you know that I can't leave this video without giving you guys a non-vegan recipe. So, like I mentioned earlier, a couple of videos back, I pinned a comment to one of my videos mentioning that I would provide you guys with an anabolic oatmeal recipe. So today I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a quick little hack on how to just take your oatmeal, whether it's overnight oats or just regular oatmeal that you're going to pop into the microwave to a level 10. All right, let's get into it. All right guys, so for this recipe you're going to need about five to six ingredients. All right guys, so obviously you don't need to have one of these types of jars. You could use a mason jar or you can just throw it into a cup and then throw it into the fridge. But this is for overnight oats. Obviously you can mix it in and you know take it at the same time depending on what your preferences are. But the way that I've been making this one specifically is just perfect to throw into the fridge, leave it overnight, and then you've got something that's just quick and easy to grab in the early morning and just tastes like berry shortcake. So what we've got here is a half cup of oats. So for the first ingredient, you're gonna have one teaspoon of PB2 powder. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and do half a scoop of protein powder. And again, you can throw in a full scoop, it's up to you, just whatever your preference is, but this is for a half scoop. And for those of you who are asking, this is actually salted caramel. Definitely still works great with vanilla and then also maybe even like a fruity pebbles, but this all will come together and taste like a berry shortcake oatmeal. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and mix this all up just to make sure all the dry ingredients are mixed. We're going to go ahead and throw in the quarter cup of unsweetened soy milk. And then next up, we're going to go ahead and throw in one tablespoon of Greek yogurt. Lastly, we're going to go ahead and add in the strawberries. All right, guys, so the moment you've been waiting for, what secret ingredient are you going to use for these oatmeal recipes and also your future recipes? Bam, check this out. So, I'm sure a lot of you guys already use this on your day-to-day -day basis. I personally have not seen anybody on YouTube use this to flavor their oatmeals, their pancakes, their french toast, heck, their anabolic protein ice creams. I've been holding out on this, but this is something that I use almost every day to be able to flavor my oatmeals, whether it's overnight or just regular hot oatmeal that I throw into the microwave. Now, this goes a long way, just a small amount. So. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and use strawberry watermelon. They're great because they give you the option to be able to change up different flavors. I know they have grape, they've got pina colada, a lot of different flavors that just deviate away from your traditional oatmeal. So this one in particular just really comes out like a berry shortcake and I just absolutely love it. So again, guys, a little goes a long way. So we're just gonna do a quick little squirt. There you go, that's all you need. The flavor enhancer just goes right in. We're gonna let this sit overnight and you'll have yourself an awesome oatmeal for the early morning. If you guys have not tried overnight oats in the past, this is definitely one of my go-tos. It's a very simple recipe to make and also just knowing that I can go get my workout in in the morning, come back home, have something super quick to eat without any prep work and then just get back to doing my own business. Like this is, this is pretty awesome. So the calorie and macro breakdown for this recipe is 239 calories with a macro breakdown of 22 grams of protein. Obviously that's gonna fluctuate depending on whether or not you wanna use a full scoop, a half scoop, what have you. And then it's gonna also be 30 grams of carbs and then also three and a half grams of fat. All right guys, so this is what essentially the overnight oats oatmeal is gonna look like. Obviously everything's gonna be mixed in. You're gonna have a lot of flavor coming out of this. Just make sure to mix all the ingredients once you take it out of the fridge, but you're gonna have something that's very resemblant of a berry shortcake. All right guys, that does it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed these two recipes. They're very different, but I hope that you find them extremely helpful, especially when you're looking to meal prep or just get a nice little treat in from time to time. If you guys are interested in learning more about the different flavors I've been able to come up with for these overnight oats or just regular oatmeal in general, shoot me in the comments below what you'd like to hear. 
and I'll be sure to check it out. But guys, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to check out this video and get your weekly dose of anabolic goodness. But otherwise, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Much love to you guys. Thank you for the support, and I hope you guys stay safe and healthy out there. And until next time, peace.